Hello everyone. In the previous session, we had seen the difference between array list and list. Uh, basically, I can say collections and collections dot generic. In this session, we understand one more uh, you know entity and that is the part of collection and known as hash table. Now, hash table is basically used. See, uh, in actually in array, what do we have? We have indexes so I have this index here so this is your index and these are the elements okay so these are the element more precisely I can say elements value right so this is index and this is elements so if let's say on a day if someone asks you what is 32 okay if someone asks you what is this 32 what, what do you will say there is no identity of that right you cannot say anything about that from the uh, by looking this by looking at this you know table or whatever it is okay uh, and even any in a very similar way you cannot say uh, what is 88992121 it can be salary it can be you know any number it can be phone number it can be anything it can be address space can and be anything right so in a very similar way if someone asks you that what is the index of computer and vice versa like what is at the uh, third index you cannot say you cannot remember because the problem here is you cannot remember the index right now it is 4 but let's say the indexes are from 0 to 100 you cannot remember every index and every element that is mapped with your index right so you, you someone ask you that what is at the index 1 you cannot say you maybe it, you will say what is uh, maybe you will say that 32 but what is 32 you will not remember right so hash table gives you a kind of flexible mechanism or a flexible or a reliable uh, you know a mechanism where you can uh, you can write anything in this index index can be anything it is not from 0 to 100 it can be anything for you you can write simple english okay just like this john if it is a name element then you can provide index not as zero you can provide name instead of zero i will say a name here so instead of this zero I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call this index as name and a very similar if they if it is if, if the 32 is here then instead of calling as one I will say to remember you know this entry I will say this is my this is my age just like 889921 I will say this is not tooth index to remember this entry I will say this is my phone number okay in a very similar way Thor I will not remember Thor as my you know uh, as my uh, as as computer I will remember that computer is my department so I will say department that's the thing and fourth is not just the Mumbai or not uh, Mumbai is fourth it is somehow the location or more precisely if I say it is city so now I can you know remember the entries so if someone asks you what is John I can say this is name uh, and even in a very similar way if someone asks you where exactly compute what, what exactly computer is or where exactly computer is you can say it is at the department index that's how you know hash table works so let's say how hash table works so hash table needs uh, it needs a key and a value see here just like array list you implemented a very similar way you have to implement hash table so let's see the entry hash table see hash table come and exist in System dot collections and not system dot collections dot generic. Let's see this. Hash table hs equals to new hash table, and I will say ht dot add. And now add method needs what it needs. One it it needs object key. So object key is nothing but your index. It can be anything. And then it needs object value. An object value is nothing but your elements. Now you see, if you if you if you if you can see this, it is the key the the data type of key is not any integer, not any float, not any string, but it is object. So I can pass anything here. And that's why the reliability hash table gives you. So I can pass anything here. See, right now, let's say uh, what was the entry? I have the entry of John. So I'll say name, and I will pass you know uh, the the entry. So I will say John. Same way ht dot add, and the next entry I had was age. 
so I will say age and my age was 32 so this is my object value as object can take any values so it takes string so it takes integer any value okay so next is ht dot add and next entry was phone I guess so phone one two three four five six okay next entry was ht dot add and it was the entry of city I guess so city and then I need to pass the city so I will say Mumbai basically this is string so I need to pass it on string okay so these are the four entries and I think uh, there is one missing as let me see what was this uh, age yeah department so I will say ht dot add and I will pass the department and I will say computer say computer that's it so this is my hash table and I have created the entries so all these things are your keys and all these are your elements just like this now what I gonna do basically I need to uh, you know I need to print this so how I can print this if you want to print exact you know a specific entry I can print in my console dot read line so I will say ht this is my hash table ht and I'll just pass the object key you know index so what it needs object key so I can pass the index or the key whatever you call this so let's say if I want to see my age so I'll just pass the age and now once I pass the age basically it is in these same format so once I pass this it will show me the age of this member see here 32 can you see this 32 in the same way, if I want to see the name, I can pass the specific entry or the specific key. HT age, I will say name. Now you see both entries, 32 and John. So line by line, you can print. This is like specific entry. But if you want to, if you want to print the, you know, all values, all values, what you can do, CW console dot right line, and you can, you can actually actually you need to print this in your for each loop so I will say for each and I will say uh, here instead of where I will call object actually where is not you know where is also not you know problematic so I'll just keep that in where and uh, this item is going to be I in ht dot keys ht dot keys Okay, inside this I can print you know these all entries so console dot right line and here I will say ht and I will pass the i here. Once you pass the i and you, when you run this you will see all specific entries. So 32 computer John Mumbai 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 32 again. Why that 32 comes again because we have this age over here when you remove this you will see the specific entries computer john mumbai one two three four five six and 32 okay that's it if you want to see both uh, you know both entries i mean the keys and uh, the the values right now you, you cannot understand what is the you know key and what is the values i mean this can be anything so that's why if you want to print anything print both things then what do you need actually you need somehow this entry so I will say actually uh, I and then plus equal equal operators and uh, separate this with this and let me say HT and just pass here just pass the key okay that's it when you run this you will see both entries so department is computer John city Mumbai phone and age equals to 32 you can see now it looks somehow simpler okay now if you see the difference or more precisely if I say there is one problem what is the problem you see here ht dot add method needs what it needs object key and object value again there is a type safe problem you can pass anything here and that's the problem here right another thing is another thing is um, another thing is you see here just let me just run this when you run this 
if you see my entries were john 32123456 computer and mumbai but here computer is coming first then john mumbai 123456 and age so the output is not in sequence order it's completely random okay it is completely random so that is also a problem of hash table and we will see how we can resolve this with the help of dictionary and dictionary exist in collections.generic and that's why the difference this is your hash table and we will see dictionary see here dictionary this this is we go, we're going to see and dictionary basically it is type safe first of all it is type safe and it is in the collections.generic okay it is not in the uh, in the collections it is not actually we are not dealing with type safe but it needs what it needs it needs a key and a value but type safe key and value see here t operator can you see this t operator this is type safe key and type safe value so you cannot you will not provide anything here okay whatever the type you you, you provide here in the t the, that that will be your key and whatever the type you provide here that will be your value so if your type is string then your key is going to be in string if your type is integer then your key is going to be integer and we'll see this we'll see this in dictionary okay so if if i if i just you know pass the entry so that you can see here string uh, object actually string uh, this is your string is in your uh, string is going to be your key and let me say object is going to be your value so this is it now you see here dictionary come and exist in system dot collections dot generic and your hash table is going to exist in system dot collection that's the thing and that we will see in our next session thank you so much if you understand hash table